in the short term, um, it's the, this, kind of, this workshop provides an opportunity for the younger scholars to have direct, deeper, and more sustained interaction. But in the long term, I suspect that they themselves haven't seen firsthand, haven't witnessed firsthand the value of um, the importance of mentoring. We're building relationships with each other and trust with each other as we're giving each other feedback has been really, really interesting for me. Once they got together and they started sharing and they were able to peer mentor each other by others asking what is happening to how are you going to do this, it actually revealed the various resources we have and people were able to share the experiences from their workplace and the experiences from their universities. And the whole take I had on this and the encouragement I gave them was to identify the resources, actually to be aware that they have a lot of resources among themselves and to work with each other, to consult each other and continue the process of peer mentoring. I was looking for a community, uh, you know, uh, a community of people who understand the challenges in the, in the discipline. And I think I have, I have found people whose relationships I'll carry outside of this workshop where you can bounce ideas. Uh, and that's really what I was looking for. And, and the whole idea that, you know, we're all working and we're all trying to do this research. I've learned how to refocus my project and to give it direction because I've been wondering, as I said, I want to do many things within a short time but the professors and the mentors here are so great. They've been able to give me a very clear and good direction. And I'm hoping that within a short time, I'll be able to really finish my work. It's not just that the SSRC is giving fellows money. I mean, there are fellowships. There are other fellowships, not that many, but there are other fellowships available to students in Africa. But, but to have this alongside a mentoring um, uh, and nurturing workshop like this is, I think, in the idea of bringing 45, next, the next generation of intellectuals on the continent together for a week, I think this was, it's a, it's a huge privilege for me to be here. And I can really see the importance of it at the structural level for networking, at a more pedagogical level in terms of how things have been organized. The idea of putting people in cohort and thematic groups. Originally, I was thinking, oh, I don't know how this is going to work. But what it what it's been like for me is that uh, the thematic group has really given you a sense of people at different stages in their projects, um, very different questions uh, in the same kind of broad field. And then my cohort group had, I think, had five different countries sitting around the table. The interdisciplinary nature of of, of the of the workshop placed in my group lawyers next to political scientists, next to so, next to sociologists, anthrop anthropologists, um, and geographers. And this uh, this produced a very, very interesting debate. I was very warm to see how the how students, how this how the fellows would engage with one another um, and offer them very themselves each other very constructive advice. It's, it's a really wonderful and privileged environment that I think is akin to to some of what happens in elite graduate schools at the early phase of graduate education that doesn't even happen there in later phases of graduate education um, consistently. I felt like I need something early on that's a bit more ambitious about this project being about the relationship between electoral process, democratic electoral process, um, and the limits of that. What were your assumptions? What theory guided your work? What literature informed me? What is guiding your rationale? One of the things I noticed in our small groups, not only were they learning that they were total agents in the process, like Sarah said, but um, they were also learning that the whole process requires being extremely reflective about what is happening during the entire research, writing, analysis, whatever process. So the way that the SSRC is structured, whereby they have to continually revisit their research question, as well as their methods, as well as their literature review, no matter where they are in the process, enables that kind of tacking back and forth. Something as a mentor of the has been great, because one of the key highlights for me has been to see this group of students who are very focused and very interested. They tend to work in quite individual environments in which it's just them and their supervisor, and that they don't they don't necessarily have the benefit of uh, large group discussions, of more interdisciplinary discussions, of um, problem formation, of conceptual conceptualization, of theorization, 
of exposure to bodies of literature that are, that are not immediately obvious to their supervisor as relevant to their field or obvious to them as relevant to their field. So the workshop, I think, really pushes them in a wonderful way to, um, to, to speak to new audiences and to, and to amplify the relevance of their work and the salience of their work beyond the specific context in which they work. One of the benefits of playing such roles is to see the ideas of younger people in its raw form. And one year, two years down the line, to see the finished product. And knowing that you played a role in that, on that conveyor, intellectual conveyor belt, is a very exciting, you know, it, it, it's emotionally and intellectually rewarding for people like me. So it, to me, it has been a great opportunity bringing scholars from different universities in different countries in Africa to come and share experiences. I think the most important thing that I will take from this workshop is that um, one's research can never be perfect. There is always room for improvement. There's always room for people to comment and, and, and for you to, to get different perspectives. Most of all, I think um, scholarship is very much a dialogue. It's a dialogue with your peers. It's a dialogue with people outside of your discipline, um, especially on the continent where such a diversity of voices exist uh, and where we have such um, a multitude of different politics. I suspect that for the participants today, uh, they are not just benefiting, they are very likely to form a critical mass of mentors, you know, for those who are going to come subsequently.